Good morning once again. Well, yesterday we had the pleasure of hearing from Dame Helen Mirren, who, along with Mary Louise Parker, stars with some of Hollywood's most respected and most successful actors in the new film, Red. Today it's time to meet the boys. We're going to break into the CIA and find out who's trying to kill us. We're getting the band back together. Now, three of the biggest stars in the world. Bruce Willis, synonymous with the big-budget action blockbuster. Morgan Freeman, the sublime talent who most recently brought Nelson Mandela to the big screen. I am the master of my dreams. And John Malkovich, the quirky genius who always leaves us wanting more. It's my head! They play retired CIA agents who are forced back into business for one final hurrah. And guess what? They're all great. Everybody in this movie are people that I have always admired uh, in watching their work. So I just felt like I was in really high cotton to be and able to work with them. Is, That's a real treat. You fly so what got Mr. Freeman over the line? Uh, it was a good script, and it was a, a, a Bruce Willis action film. Oh, yeah. That was good enough for me. Where'd you get this? Home Depot. How much? Ten bucks. It is every inch of Bruce Willis' film, the screenplay in question operating on plenty of layers. There are a lot of different elements in it. It's a, it's a complicated script and uh, am, a, a very uh, ambitious story that tries to combine uh, romance and comedy and action. We had the benefit of having an enormous cast of, of movie stars, and uh, that doesn't always happen. Sitting next to Bruce, that's Kiwi actor Carl Urban of Star Trek fame, whose career's obviously on a roll working with a cast like this. It's a pretty good sign, isn't it? It was a great experience, you know. We worked hard, played hard. You know, for me, I was very, very uh, thankful to be working... Uh, doing a fight sequence with with Bruce, you know, and he, he's d he's done a ton of them over the years, and and he was able to bring a great de deal of uh, of experience and expertise to the to the table. So, what is it about Bruce Willis that makes audiences and fellow actors alike love his work and sing his praises? People don't really appreciate how really good an actor he is, but uh, I've watched him since his television days, and I've watched the growth in him. He's settled on action. Uh, it's fun to do. It pays very well, and he enjoys it. But he's a fantastic actor. I've seen him do a lot of stuff. Why are you trying to kill me? Why would I be trying to kill you? Because the last time we met, I tried to kill you. That was a long time ago. And he's funny, really funny, in a dry kind of way. It's a skill set. It's, it's just something that I think goes all the way back to me trying to crack my friends up when I was in high school. I was just an average student, but I was honing my uh, comedy skills even then. On the subject of comedy, John Malkovich is one of Hollywood's most unique talents, and it's a cool combination seeing his quirky skills in an action film. I've only done, I think, three action movies. No, now four. I loved all of them, doing all of them. Uh, years ago, I did a film called Con Air, which I really enjoyed. And then after this film, I did the, the new Transformers 3. And actually, they've all been a blast. So what is it that keeps Bruce coming back for more thrills and spills after all these years? I think action movies tend to make a little more noise. But I, I get to do all kinds of films, and I'm... Uh, happy to be in this one. Kaboom. Lots of stuff blowing up in this film. It's a cracker to red. It's out here on Thursday, Thursday week. I'll tell you more about it. We then. love Bruce Willis. He's Everybody cool loves dude, Br he? Bruno. Yeah, he's just a cool... The ladies like him, the boys like him, it is, uh, you know, kids like him, old people like him. He's, he's, he's a good dude. I would mm. say there's a glint in his eye, Diggy. He's still got that glint in his eye. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Richard.